Good morning, Sycamore Junior High. Today is Terrific Tuesday, March 5th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Karen. Hello, I'm Mike. We're so excited to be here today on the daily video announcements. Now let's please place our hands over our hearts and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. National Day. National Cheese Duel Day on March 5th marks an annual celebration where fingers turn cheesy orange and we snack on these flavorful treats. Stuck your face all day with these puffs. <laughs> National Week. Today to Friday is school breakfast week. Make sure to appreciate your school cafeterias. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to all those celebrating today. Including Adeline H., Charlotte B., and staff member Mr. Von Waldy and Miss Frey. Have a great time celebrating your awesome day with friends and family. Now over to our clubs and activities announcements. We are two weeks out from the junior high performance of the Little Mermaid Junior, March 14th to March 16th. Are you interested in running and meeting new friends? This is your opportunity. After spring break on Wednesday, April 3rd, come out for running club. This is a non-competitive way to run for fun and meet new people. We will run until May 8th and there will be an information meeting held Wednesday, March 21st in the cafeteria. Last minute update. Come on, speed. The informational meeting about high school yearbook is rescheduled for this Thursday, March 7th, during flex in Ms. Beamland's art room, room 2155. The high school yearbook advisor and the editors will be coming from the high school this Thursday during flex. Please plan on attending the informational meeting about high school yearbook. Anyone interested in high, in high school yearbook is encouraged to attend. Swing by Miss Fieldman's art room, 2155, to pick up a flex pass. Hope to see you there. Now our students of the week, and on to 38 special bus driver, Mr. Black. All right, guys, Mr. Meyer here. We are back with this week's Students of the Week. We have Cherie, we have Owen, we have Ava, and we have Kyra. They were all nominated for being responsible. Uh, Cherie was nominated by Mr. Rodriguez. Owen was nominated by Ms. Rutledge. Ava was nominated by Ms. Santangelo. And Kyra was nominated by Mr. Reese. So along with their certificates, they get a gift card to Chick-fil-A. We truly appreciate you guys being responsible. Thanks again for joining me on 38 Special, where we hang on loosely, but don't let go. Today, we're going to talk about using our words, but more specifically, using our words wisely. Because words in and of itself are just tools. Tools that can be either used for good, or they can be used abusively. So we're going to talk a little bit today about how to use our words wisely. I'm here again with Rubber Ducky. Wait, what's that? Oh, I don't mean to insult you. So you don't want me to call you Rubber Ducky anymore? Well, why not, Rubber Ducky? Oh, oh, is that it? Oh. Oh, your name, you want it to be Fluffy Ducky? Because that's what you really are and you're not made of rubber? Okay, well, how about this? Henceforth, you shall be known as Fluffy Ducky. How you feel about that? Oh, you want to talk about something that happened today on the bus? And you want to show everybody? Okay, let's do that. Bruh. What up, bruh? Did you happen to hear what happened to Diego in science class? Yeah, dude. Diego was salty. What? I heard he was NPC, bruh. You guys got it all wrong. It was juicy. What? What? That's totally sus. No, bruh. That's cap. You bruhs got it wrong. Facts. Some of the funnest times, for sure, are with the elementary crew. Why? Because they tend to just say whatever comes out of their mouth. They tend to react in emotion a lot of the times. And half the time, or maybe even most of the time, it just makes me laugh. I'll hear stuff like, he said the H word! And I think, I don't even know what H word they're referring to. You may think you know what the H word is, but it might be something different. Nonetheless, as we get older, we tend to get more hurt by what other people say. And so we need to choose words wisely. And maybe perhaps say nothing at all. Thanks a lot for tuning in to Bus 38 again, where we hang on loosely, but don't let go. Remember to either like or don't like, but mostly subscribe so that you can stay Be entertained, educated, and informed with Bus 38 News. 
Thanks again for watching, everybody. Just hold on, loose leg. But don't let go. Hello, I'm Delaney, and I'm here with our segment, Tongue Twister Tuesday. Who am I here with today? Avia. And Grace. Okay, where's the book? Right here. Okay, so, our tongue twister of the day is Patty Picks Pretty Paper Packages. Say that three times fast. Patty Picks Pretty Paper Packages. Patty Picks Pretty Paper Packages. Faster! <laughs> Patty Picks Pretty Paper Packages. Patty Picks Pretty Paper Packages. Faster! Patty Picks Pretty Paper Packages. Love that. Okay, okay. your turn. turn. Patty Picks Pretty Paper Packages. Patty Picks Picks pretty paper packages. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Not too bad. Thanks, guys. I'm Noah. You sit there, Joey. Okay. And would you like to say this tongue twister for me three times fast? Uh, Patty picks pretty faster. Patty picks pretty faster. paper packages. Faster. Patty. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Patty picks pretty paper packages. And you? Patty picks pretty pick paper packages. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Thank you. I'm so good. Great. Hey, you think? Okay. Hello, Matthew. And would you like to say this tongue twister three times fast for us? Patty picks pretty paper packages. Fast. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Patty picks pretty paper packages. Thank you. Now an important message from Henry and Ben. Hello Sycamore Junior High, I'm Henry. And hi, I'm Ben. And we are the Event Planning Committee. We have been helping plan the AIDS Bash for Friday, March 15th. The AIDS Bash is a free after-school event put together by the PTO. There will be free food and activities including arts and crafts, sports, video games, and board games. We will send out a registration email next week and this will be mandatory if you wanted to attend the event. It, the event will begin right after school, 3.15, and run until 5.30, but you will be able to leave at 5 p.m. If you need to leave before 5 for another after-school activity, please email Mr. Cole for a pass to leave. Once you are registered, you will be able to sign up for any of the events through a Google form. Again, you will need to check your email. Once you have chosen your activities, the team will send out your schedule two days before the event on March. And the event is on March 15th, again. As an example, maybe you're playing games in the first session, art in the second, and PE games in the third. Or just art for two sessions, and video games in the third. Or just a movie. There is a lot of possibilities. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Cole. Have a great day, Sycamore. Can't wait for our A Smash! Joke of the day! Alright, a boy walks up to his mom and says, Can I borrow $20? The mom says, No, what does it look like? I'm made of money? And the boy goes, well, isn't that what mom stands for? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! That's so funny! Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Follow PBIS Expectation every day. Have a great week and go, go Aves. Away.